In this technical demonstration, we'll examine factor sequencing rules that are configured in OctaSignOn policies that prevent the upgrade to OIE. Now, before we begin, it is important to note that factor sequencing is not supported in OIE. Voice call and SMS factor types in Okta Classic are now combined in OIE into one phone authenticator. And Okta Verify and Okta Verify with push notification are combined into the Okta Verify authenticator. So let's take a look at the Okta sign on policy rules and how to reconfigure them so the Okta org can be upgraded to OIE. As you can see, I'm logged into the Okta admin console and to reconfigure the Okta sign on policy rules, we'll use the security menu and select authentication. From here, we'll click the sign on tab. And as you can see, we have a policy for voice call and SMS and a second policy for Okta Verify. We'll start with the voice call and SMS policy. From here, we'll move down to the rule and click the pencil icon to edit the rule. Under the authentication section, you can see that factor sequencing is being used and we have two authentication chains, one showing the SMS authentication followed by the voice call authentication. The second chain shows the voice call authentication as the first factor type, followed by SMS. Since these two factor types are combined in OIE, this rule setting is incompatible with OIE and must be reconfigured. To reconfigure this rule, you simply need to change the option to a different factor type. So we'll change the additional authentication option for both authentication chains to the Okta Verify Push Authenticator, and we'll update the rule. We'll now take a look at the rule for the Okta Verify policy. So we'll select the policy and click the pencil to edit the rule. And as you can see, we have two authentication chains that include Okta Verify and Okta Verify Push. And as it is with the SMS and voice call rules, this rule is incompatible with OIE and must be reconfigured because Okta Verify and Okta Verify Push cannot be part of the same authentication chain. So we'll change the additional authentication option once again, in this case, to SMS authentication and update the rule. Now you should review all sign-on policies in Okta Classic for factor sequencing rules and make the necessary adjustments before upgrading to OIE. During the OIE upgrade assessment, if additional technical blockers are identified, they will be displayed with instructions on how they can be remediated prior to the upgrade being performed.